Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back again for another Minecraft Snapshot. This is 13W2B, the second one for this week. It's becoming kind of routine for them to release a second one the day after. Now, uh, if you haven't seen 2A, go back and check that out. There's a lot of new features in that. This has some new features and a ton of bug fixes, but at the end, I'm also going to do a few special things like showing you mob names, actually having them float above the mob, and also uh, TNT cart nukes. Uh, more of those. I found some easier techniques. So let's go into the new features first. Now the activator rail here has a new recipe. It was originally just iron on the sides, but that was a uh, mistake. They added the sticks and the redstone torch in the center, which makes sense because it is redstone powered uh, to activate these TNT mine carts here. Now the trap chests, uh, before they would only send off their weak signal behind or underneath by one, but now, uh, like other redstone devices, you can activate th them with uh, redstone underneath by a block. So that makes a little more sense. You can hide your trap chests a lot easier without being able to see that there's redstone, you know, right under it. Now the hopper over here, there was a bug with it where, uh, as I can show you in this clip, uh, items, even when it was powered, it would suck items in, which it's not supposed to, but if I throw a few items in here, you can see that because it's powered now, these items will not uh, actually go into it, but they will hop around on it, which looks great with the fish here. So it kind of, they won't sink into it, but they'll hop up and down, which goes with the hopper's name, which is kind of funny. So uh, yeah, there you go. Now some of the other fixes here I can show you real quick. Gas in the last snapshot shot diamond helmets instead of fireballs. That was pretty awesome. They still explode in your face though. Uh, dispensers actually look like furnaces, which is weird. The hoppers, when you drop them, had this weird end stone uh, wooden button texture. That was strange. TNT minecarts, I can show you here. If you break them now, they drop both their TNT and the minecart, but last time they did not. They only dropped the minecart and uh, the hopper, yeah. So that is mostly the bug fixes. Before I go into uh, the TNT thing here with the nukes, uh, here's a quick clip showing you uh, a filter that lets you put on mob names. Okay guys, I'm using Seth Bling's Change Mobs filter to add the actual floating names above all the mobs. So we got Snoop Dogg, we got Snoop Lion, we got Bob and his friend Zombie who just got caught up in the filter. We got Zack the Zombie, he refuses to put on his hat to look like Zack, oh well. We got Mr. Boner, Slenderman's name is fusing through him, it's a little too uh, short there and then a green weenie. So this is cool. You can actually use this filter on your map if you got named mobs uh, once we get 1.5 and they will have their name above them. All right guys, you ready for some TNT cart nukes? You can see the aftermath of some explosions in the background. I can show you what those look like here. But uh, this is how you set down the this easier way of doing the TNT cart nukes. So you just put rails in a circle here so it makes a little loop and then you want to get to an edge of one and just spam a bunch down I think I can only get a few there there we go okay not too many because this can crash your server or game so here we go let's try this whoa <laughs> sent me past the clouds there and let's go see the destruction look at that crazy and uh, went really deep. This is kind of a nice way to mine for stuff, but you're going to lose some stuff in the process. Um, so that, <laughs> that's a much easier technique. Let's do it one more time. And then I will cut to show you the second technique that isn't quite as useful, but you can get some bigger explosions that way. Uh, it just has more of a likelihood of freezing your game. Let's do one more of these. How about we blow up this little hill here? I think that would be kind of cool. And just see if it goes all the way down to ground level. I can try to do more of these, but hopefully this doesn't freeze my game. Here we go. And that's probably more than enough. All right, ready? Uh-oh. I think that was too many, guys. Normally it would explode, but that was too many, and I think the game's going to crash. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, definitely crashed there. <laughs> Let's try a few less before we move on to the last method. Oh, didn't get as many as I could there. Okay, that's probably more than enough. Uh, we'll go on to the second method after this. Let's try it out. And whoa. Whoa, do you see that smoke? That was really cool. It didn't blast me too high up, but that was a pretty good crater. And I really want to try to get one where I fly above the clouds, but if I can't get one, 
Uh, I think I have another clip. Look at knock the top off of these trees. That's really cool. It makes some really cool patterns. I don't know. It's like it's just mesmerizing. <laughs> I like to do this just to to see what's going to happen each time because it's so different and unpredictable. But here are some clips uh, of some other explosions I did when I was testing, and we'll move on to the second technique here. Okay, guys. So this is the second method. You want to stack a bunch of these TNT minecarts all like this. Now, to do that, you're going to need a block above where you want to stack them. Put the rail, the cart, break the block, bam. They fall right into place, just like so. You're going to need two blocks to make sure that you can place this block again. And at the bottom here, we have a single block because I'm going to need to replace that with a rail when I'm ready to st stack these guys up. So, uh, I've tried this a few times, and this is way too many. It will crash the game or crash a server. So I'm just going to have to break a lot of them. Uh, I've seen people able to do a huge amount. Uh, either they got lucky or they've got insane computers or something. So let's get rid of a bunch. I have to only do a few. And remember, before in the first snapshot, I only did two and it did that huge crater. So I only need a couple to do a very big explosion. That might be maybe one more for good measure because I've not had good luck with this. Okay, so we go down here and we're all ready. Let's replace this with a rail. And they all stack up, and let's tap it and see what happens here. Whoa! <laughs> Jeez, one even flew over there. Is that even there? Oh, there's a couple, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that to happen. Alright, so that was only like, what was that, six, seven? And look how big of a hole it made. That's crazy. And look at <laughs> chopped up a bunch of these trees. That's insane. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see me more of these because I am willing to do more crazy nuke explosions. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.